Hello everyone, this is Colleen and I am covering the tool HelloSign. Uh, so what I did first, I went to HelloSign.com and I saw that there are quite a few products here, all the way to an enterprise account, to faxing, and some really cool types of uh, features. So what I'm going to do is sign up. I'm going to sign up with a Google account. But you can also sign up with another email address and you'll see I've already kind of created an account so it made it a little bit easier. There was a button that I had to click on use the free account so make sure you click the free account unless you'd like to pay but that's up to you. So what you'll see are some sign documents and it takes you to the first page that you're going to need but I wanted to take a look at some of the templates. You can create a template or a link for one person to sign. All the way to the documents. You'll see I already have a couple of documents in here because I was testing the site before I wanted to make this. And you can see that there's a team as well. So I'm going to go back to sign documents. And I'm going to make sure that I have a signature. So if you go up to the right hand side and have your account, you can go to edit signature or start signature. You can draw your signature. If you have a nice pen and nice penmanship, you could do that. You can type in your name and change your font to close to see what your signature would look like. I think this is what mine looks like. Or you could upload an image of your signature. I'm going to go ahead and select this. All right, so now it's time to sign a document. I'm going to go to Just Me. And you'll see that you can upload from Drive, Dropbox, Box, Evernote, or OneDrive. UCF students and UCF staff have access to OneDrive. But what I'm going to do today is upload a file. I'm going to choose the same agreement that you saw in my templates and my documents already. And then I'm going to fill out and sign. Pretty easy and painless. You can tell it is a graduate student research mentor uh, application. So what you'll see, you have signature, initials, a check mark, date, a text box, and the size of the font up top. What I can do is take the uh, text box, click the text box, and click where I'd like to start typing, and start typing my name. Um, if you mess up, you can always click the X, and then I will go ahead and put my fake UCF ID. You can see that I have already filled this out on a practice document, so it's giving me an option to go ahead and just click what I've already done. So if you start filling out these documents quite a bit, you'll see that um, it has some memory associated with it, which is a great time saver. So then I'm going to add my signature. I have been using the same signature, so I'm going to use this one and insert. You can see it's a little big, so you can always use the bottom right hand side and uh, reposition. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to come up to the date button and click the date right on the screen. You can see you can move this as well. All right, that looks fantastic. So what I'm going to do is now send it to my faculty for them to sign. So I'm going to click continue. And then I'm going to finish the form process. So right now I'm just going to send it to myself at UCF.edu um, because I don't have an actual faculty to send it to, but I will eventually. <laughs> and then the document title is the GRM agreement. And my message will just be, thanks for the opportunity. And then I'm going to send. All right, so it looks like it has sent. And what you'll see in your email address that you signed up for, you will get a notification that says you your document has been sent, which is a great confirmation. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions about HelloSign, I believe that they have a help page as well. So make sure you check it out because it looks like a really efficient tool. Thanks so much.